But once again, the Panthers have done something that has never been done before. Sign a player before the halfway point in a season. This is Sports Hour. Welcome back to Sports Hour. There's, this is going to be at number seven. We're going into the next week here. Week seven is complete. It is now week eight. However, week seven was one of the most crazy weeks of them all. Panthers end up scoring the most on points any team has ever scored. Well, <laughs> since yet. Last time any team has scored more than 200 points. It was back in 2015, which was against the Panthers and Jets faced off. They got about, I think, almost 500 points total. The Panthers scored 202 points in it. Now, Grant, a lot of those points came from the one person, and I'll say this, the one person that they signed. They signed Sarvina, Levi, Levi. As a point guard, also she has been possibly changed to a defensive back. They're going to look at that. And, and the thing is, she is 12. She just hit the age of allowing being allowed to be put into the league. She was signed for 8000 a year as a rookie. And as you can see, uh, there's eight rookies currently on the Panthers team right now. Which is pretty huge. Huge. So, so Lilla not only did really well on the defensive side, but also well on the offense side, scoring the record for the most points ever scored in the NBL history. History. 112 points, which, was two, which actually broke three records. One for the most points scored. Or by a, a rookie, and the fact that it was their first game is huge, and the most points scored in a single game. The third record is a, was a tie. Most points scored in a single quarter, quarter, um, and that was was fifty five points, which has, was a. The same, which is the same amount of times it was scored in a previous quarter by the previous record holder, Tom Andrew. So in this week, it's yes, and it appears that the Bears just got shut out basically in that last game. And the Bears only got 78 points in the entire game. They have scored only 16 in the first quarter, which is really low. Most teams score, give or take, 30 points in that quarter. And unfortunately, that is how it worked for them. As for the rest of the games, and it was pretty hard for both teams. Now, I am working on getting all the points for over, points overall. It's, it's, I've got the ranks for all the teams already set up, and they are all correct. As I would hope. I'm just gotta get the point system tied fully up. I gotta get this I gotta get this one up here. So as of right now, 
All right, these are the teams that would be in the playoffs if the playoffs were to happen today. Now we got a long, we got a long way to go. We are only week, we are just entering week eight, so we got a long way before this is going to be even close to the end here. But currently, the Panthers still had the first seed, although they're still fighting pretty much with the Foxes for first. Angels, Angels, and Kings have the other two divisions. Although the Kings are tied with the Pirates right, right now and the Bears. But the Bears just lost to the Panthers by a long shot. So they currently have the lowest amount, lowest chance. As for the ABL, you know, we got the Leland Cats, the Warriors, the Stars, and the Bobcats as leading each one of these. Leland Cats still being undefeated, and the Panthers will have to play them eventually. Uh, Warriors being six and one, along with the Stars, and the Bobcats are also six and one. So they've had to get a better, a better chance of doing it. Now the Panthers will have to play the Leland Cats, and I will check that here. Let's do this. It looks like the Panthers will have to play them. Be quite a bit. I think they would go to the end near the end of the season. Yeah, it's the Panthers that played them in week fifteen at five o'clock on the plane, which will most likely be the game of the week. Of course the Lillian Cats already have plenty of games of the week, so that's not a big deal. But as of right now, there are only two undefeated teams and they will have to play each other eventually. If they both happen to be undefeated at that point, all right. Meanwhile, the penalties, Panthers still have the least number of penalties. They got one penalty in that game against the Bears. Uh, the Bears, however, did have a ton of penalties in that game. They had, a, well, they had seven penalties, which is not terrible for most games. But they still lost, and there were no actual penalty throws on that. As for the records for this right now, Currently, I currently still lead 98, and I'm currently 98 and 42.7. So I didn't really change much from a record here. 95 and 45 is Willie's. John's 92 hits. So everyone's got a pretty good amount of wins. Puppy's got 90 and 50. Dog's got 86 and 54. And Runner's got 82 and 58. Eight. Yeah. Now, of course, I did. Not, I didn't do the best this week. Lily did the best this week. Yeah, but we all did very well in this last week. All right. Now, for the divisions, currently, as you see right now, no teams are eliminated or on the block or anything. However. I will say there's a few teams right now. The Cardinals are pretty close to losing it. The Indians, the Falcons, who actually are 1 6 right now, I'm pretty sure. They just won. They won this week, didn't they? Let me back. I gotta make sure that's right. Falcons. Okay, the Falcons didn't win this week. Or last week. Tell me how long about that. I thought the Falcons had won again. There was a team that did win this week. And the Colts, Chargers. I'm sure someone did. Someone won. And this is not completely right. I think that was the last week's. I think I'm wrong about this. I think something else happened. I'm pretty sure that the Falcons actually won their game. No, they lost. I don't know what it was, but here we go. Going into week eight, it is going to be a tough week for every team going into this team. 
Got some tough matchups on, starting off with this Saturday game. And the games this week it are going to be on Monday as well. There's actually a lot of games on Monday this week. Uh, I'll be checking the times here. We have one at 11 o'clock on Monday and one at pretty late 3 o'clock on Monday, which is a huge. We got a lot of things going on for that week. Okay. Now, there's four games on Monday, is that right? Four games? Yeah. That's incorrect. Oh, okay. I apologize. They are these are on Saturday. <laughs> they just updated. They changed the games to Saturday. So it's two and four on Saturday. One and eleven and three on Saturday. So on Monday for that games. Starting off, we have the Pirates and the Pirates. Pirates. I have to do my prediction as well. Everyone picks the Pirates to win this week. And although I haven't got 100% correct, I'm pretty sure it looks to me that there's just no chance the Cardinals are going to be able to come back and win this. Cardinals are 17th and 35th. Not exactly looking at the best options, especially because the Pirates have the number one, have the Pirates have the number one defense. It's... And they're pretty high up there. You know, they're 15th in offense. I don't think there's any chance that the Cardinals are going to be able to come back and win this game. So I'm going to have to say the Pirates are going to win that game. I think everyone's going to be right about that game. Hawks and Ravens. Hawks have actually been doing really well. Now, last season they were awful. If we go back to... Their season I need to update this. <laughs> this doesn't matter. If we do a look at the last years, the last seat weeks, they were not good whatsoever. They were terrible last year. If you look at the last year's uh, playoff record, you can see the Hawks were 2-16 and 16 last year. They've done a whole lot better this year. And they're doing actually quite well. Ravens are doing well as well. So this is, could be a very tough matchup. It is not the registered game of the week. They're looking to see what that game is going to be. Ravens are pretty high up there in either position. Along with the Hawks who are also in a pretty good position. This is going to be an interesting battle for both these teams. And honestly... I don't even know what you wanted to say. Right? I think either one of these teams is going to win. And surprisingly, I'm surprised it is not the game of the week. But I'm going to have to say, this is going to be a tough one. The only thing I have to think about is the Hawks have a slightly, slightly better defense. And that's where I want to go with the Hawks here. This could be an either way game. And I could see either one of these teams winning. Dragons and the Packers. Packers. Here's coming off of a of about a about a 17 point loss versus the Dragons, who came up with a drowsy loss to the Tigers. It was the Tigers who that had that. I uh, yeah, Tigers. Should have lost that game by the Dragons a long, like, it should have been close. Dragons do have a low amount of defense, but they have a really high offense. As for the Packers, they're in the mid-range on both sides. This could be an either-way game. I'm going to have to say, I don't, think the, I don't think the Pirates would do well normally, but the Dragons just lost against one of the worst-ranked teams. I mean, looking at this, the Tigers, they're in the la like last. And because of that reason, I have to go with the Packers. 
I mean, this game. Superman and the Chargers. Chargers. Um, not on the board yet. And having the most penalties does not help. I think it's very clear to me that this is going to be a very easy game. Looking at the Chargers, although they are not in the worst position, they are 12th in points. They are 39th in points allowed. Now I mentioned a lot of those points are <laughs> the other side. Versus Superman, who are 5th and 3rd. I think it's very obvious that Superman are going to win this game. I'm glad to see that, Puppy, you're hopeful. This is going to be turned around. It's, I don't think it's going to be. Knights and the Legends. This is going to be a tough match. Up, I think, honestly, this is going to be an interesting match. Up, Knights and Legends play. I would say, is this, is this the third time they've played? Knights, Legends. This, this will be the second time they play, I think. The yeah, Knights and Legends, this is the second time the Knights and Legends both played. And this could be tough. And if we look back at the previous game the Knights and Legends played, the Knights did not win that game. The Legends did win that game. But it was a very low scoring. And it was raining during that game. So, uh, this is a tough one for me to give. I'm going to give the edge. I think I'm going to give the edge to the Knights in this game. Sure, they didn't show up in the first game, but they're going to do well in this one. Lynx and Leland Cats. Leland Cats not yet defeated. And Lynx are going to have a good chance of winning, doing, being the first team to do some damage and eliminating a win from them. Lynx is going to have a good chance in this week of actually doing something. And honestly, this could be a either way a game that could be. Anyways, however, Leland Cats currently fourth, and then twentieth. So I mean, it's a it's a pretty close game. As for the Lynx, they're ninth and fourth. Both these teams have a similar point system and point amounts. This could go either way. I think honestly, this is going to be a game that's going to make a lot. Of differences depending on it. If the Leland Cats do not win this game, I think honestly, Leland Cats might just be a spoiler. They just happen to play really easy teams. Teams up to this point. But if we look at theirs, I don't know what division they're in at this point. They have taken every game win. They were predicted to lose, by the way. Four of those games, and they did come back and win all those games. And they've won both all the games pretty consistently. So, honestly, I just don't see the Lynx doing it. I'm going to go with the Leland Cats of winning the game. And Although I think this is going to be a very tough matchup. It is not the game of the week, however. Westville and the Stars. A perfectly tied Westville versus the Stars. Uh, this is going to be a really interesting matchup for these two teams. Westville being pretty low on both sides versus the Stars. And we're pretty high up in both sides. I'm going to go with the Stars here. I think the Stars do have a chance here. Bears and Kings. Bears being demolished by the Panthers this last week. I think even they have a pretty low standard for each one of these things. Versus the Kings, who have a very high offensive and not such a high defense. This is going to be a tough one for the Bears games. And honestly, if the Bears do what they did last week, they're not going to win. But they did have, there was one player that basically did all that. I think with that, I do think the Bears are going to win this game. It's going to be a very tough one. Panthers and the Dogs. Nope. <laughs> At uh, 1 o'clock, Panthers all the way. I mean, Dog's looking at his own team. Dog owns the Dogs. That's a good. It's, but the Panthers, number one in offense. And pretty low in defensive. But considering how the Dogs don't look good at all, they look, they're look ninth in defense, but they're terrible in all that points. I think the points, points per game are going to be a whole different. Panthers are going to win this game. Indians and Tigers. Uh, 
winless team versus an almost winless team. Yeah, um, Tigers, as of right now, are actually like in the bottom five of all those things. They're no chance. Dude. Indians are actually doing okay. Indians are sixth in defense allowed and 27th in points. I'm going to go with the Indians here. I don't think the Tigers get a chance. And to win this game. All right, Falcons and Saints. I don't really think there's much to say about this. The Falcons being one of the worst teams in the offensive and a moderate team in, def in the defensive side. As for the Saints, Saints, the Saints here are 31st and then 14th. Both these teams are a really good chance this thing, but I just don't see the Falcons doing what they need to do to win this game. I gotta say, with the, I'm gonna go with the Saints. All right, Tex and Browns, Tex and Browns, Tex coming off a win, Browns coming off another loss. Browns being pretty low in both on both sides. As for the Tex, they're pretty high on both sides. Tex are okay, they're higher than the uh, Browns, anyways, but not that much. I have to say the offense is going to be the one that takes it, I think. In the end, I'm going to go with the Tigers winning this game. All right, now the Bobcats and the Otters. The Otters did lose this last week. Not a big deal, though. They are second in defensive points and 30th in points allowed and points scored. Yeah, Bobcats in this context are fourth in defensive allowed and 20th. I think, honestly, the Otters are going to have a hard time winning this game, and I'm going to go with the Bobcats winning this game. Ethan and the Jets. I said it right that time. Um, Ethan currently being 18th and 29th in their 18th, 18th offense and 29th defense versus the Jets, who actually have gone off a kill pretty is being 5th in points scored. And only 28. This is going to be a tough one. And it is not the game of the week either. But I'm going to go with the Jets here. I think this is going to be a very interesting game. Alright, we got the nice little Colts. <laughs> who at this point are doing 25th and 36th. Versus the Dolphins who actually have done really well recently. They're actually the exact opposite, basically, though. This is going to be a tough one. I'm going to go with the Dolphins winning the games here. Beagles and UNC. And we have this is currently the, the pending game of the week. No, it's not. It's, it's actually very close, though. The current game of the week is the Lions and the Warriors. Which, honestly, I think is, re is very reasonable. The pending win of the week for the Bengals and the Knights, UNC. Both these teams are actually a pretty good position. Bengals being third and then 31st versus UNC, who is the exact basically the exact opposite. I have to go with the Bengals winning this game, but this is, could be either game. We'll come back to the game of the week. Werewolves and Lightning could have also easily been the game of the week. The Werewolves being 28 and 28 and 35th. Not exactly impressing anyone right now. Lightning being 11th and dead last. None of those teams are very being very impressive as of right now. Yeah, this is going to be a very tough one. And for me, because of Lightning being so low... I'm going to have to go with the Werewolves winning this game. Foxes and the Giants. I think this is the second time they will have played. Foxes being very high up. Being 6th and 7th versus the Giants. Who are very low. I don't think there's any question here. I think the Falcons win this game. Sure, runner. Go over the Giants. Bulldogs and the Angels. This could be a absolute blowout for the both these teams. And honestly, I see no reason to say that the Angels will not win this game. Angels being 10th and 21st 
versus the Bulldogs, who in this conference are doing better in defense, but not doing well in offense. I think this is, could be an either way game. I'm going to have, I'm going to go with my gut, my, my, with the actual underdog here and say the Bulldogs will win that game. But back to the Lions and the Warriors game. The Lions being 19th and versus the Warriors, who are 2nd and 35th. This is actually going to be a very tough game. Knowing that they, the Warriors score the most second most foul points and didn't have a 200 point game, but they're allowed about the same amount of points. And as for the Lions, Lions are doing nearly the same thing. And honestly, this could be an either way game. I have to say, this could easily be a coin flip for me. And I'm going to say, I'm going to go with the Warriors winning this game week. But this could easily be the other way around. All right, finally, before we get done here, yes, there is one other thing I like to announce off of this. Yes, next season they're doing we're doing something that we have never done before, and it is the best thirty-two. And the way this is going to work, go to divisions for a second here, is the way it works is it's going to be the best of 32. And it's going to look something like a regular tournament, like the March Madness tournament. This happens to be the thing, first thing that comes to my mind. And what's going to happen is the top three, whoever is in the top three position, so right now it would be the Panthers, Knights, Legends, those teams are going to automatically be in those will magically make it to the tournament. These two teams, the teams in the last two places, will battle, and the team team and the team that wins that game will move to the tournament. So it's going to look something like it's going to look like a March Madness tournament. There's going to be 16, and it's, and it's going to be ABL versus NBL. So it's going to be similar to the NBL tournament. But the way it's going to work is. Four of each of the divisions are going to make it in, and it could, and in theory, it could be all the best teams. Now, the way it's going to work is depending on the point rank. And I just put this in here. The point depending on the point rank will decide where they go on the land. So, if they are, if for example, the Panthers are fifth overall right now. Compared to their actual score here, they win. Now, if it's a tie, it'll be by their offensive. And if they're those, if that's somehow tied, it's not going to be tied. But if somehow their offensive ranking will be will be the first one to decide that. And that is what's going to happen for this. Now, that's got a well way to go. It's going to happen after the season's over. So hopefully, that's not going to be a big deal. Yeah. So this will be an interesting week for everyone. And the tournament of 32 will be put into place. Yes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching Sports Hour. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to try to get these out as soon as I can. They're currently going to be they're going to be a little bit later. So I'm hoping to get them out by midnight on Tuesday. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to keep your game on. And if you want to control the team, you have until the week, ninth week. So you only have two weeks left.